Hello, Cancer. Happy Friday, guys. So it's Friday morning where I am. I hope you're going to have a beautiful weekend wherever you are. Hope you're doing wonderful. Uh, you want a soulmate reading. That's what we're going to do, whether you're currently in contact with your soulmate or not. And we're also going to see if anything else shows up about your life that you're supposed to know for your highest good, uh, whether it's about your job, family, friendships, whatever it is. First part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Cancer. What do you be dealing with facing? How to best handle it for your highest good? Second part of the video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate, how they are relating to you at this time emotionally, and what's on their mind. Basically, what they're thinking and feeling, especially in relation to you, Cancer. So let's do this, Universe. Please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer. For Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards cancer? What will cancer be dealing with facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? What's coming towards cancer? One extra wants to come out for you, Cancerians. Let's see. Oh my goodness, Cancerians. You're feeling abandoned, alone. Um, yeah. You're missing your soulmate. But you're not really expressing it to anybody you're holding it all inside you're showing up here as uh, very prideful um you feel abandoned alone missing your soulmate yeah missing your soulmate wow you're not communicating your feelings to them though you're not um uh, stating to anyone how you really feel you're holding it all inside dealing with it on your own you want some kind of new beginning, new chapter in your life. Yeah, let me see the extra. Yeah, this is you feeling very stressed, overburdened. Yeah, a lot on your shoulders. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Cancerians. What will Cancer be dealing with facing? What's coming towards Cancer? Wow. This is you balancing your karmic debts, though. Um, even though this this soulmate relationship is so challenging for you and them as well, uh, you guys are learning very important lessons through these challenges. Wow, look at this. Seven of Swords twice from two different tarot decks. So it looks like you purposely are not communicating with this person. You are restraining yourself from communication. Yeah, you're hiding everything inside, how you feel. Yeah, look at this. You got five of pentacles twice and seven of swords twice. So you're not telling this person that you miss them. You're withholding all the information as far as how you feel. Uh, you are not communicating it. Yeah, you still love this person. You love them quietly, not telling them, not telling anybody. Yeah, this is you not telling anyone that you love them. They could be any sign whatsoever. All 12 signs are showing up here. Wow, but I see very strongly Aries, Leo, Gemini, uh, Taurus. Yeah, you still love this person. You checking up to see how they're doing. You're curious how they're doing. You're not really interested in anybody else um, that way. Yeah. You feel so left out in the cold, alone. This is you being quiet. Yeah. Like uh, taking a step back, taking a look at everything. Uh, so you're going through a lot of challenges. Yeah, you are. You're not expressing verbally how you feel. Yeah, this is you holding back. Let's see, universe, what's coming? What's going on with Cancerians? In a few minutes, we're going to ask about your soulmate towards you. Yeah, you see, very withdrawn. You're not sure what to do, uh, what steps to take at this time. Uh, very guarded with your heart, no communication. And for those of you, for the low percentage of you that are sporadically communicating with this person here and there, 
you're not really expressing your feelings, your intentions, your plans. Yeah, very guarded. You are ready for change. So this is good. This is change for the better. Something will happen where uh, you're going to be celebrating something. Some kind of major change uh, showing up here for the better. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate, Cancerians. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer. For cancer's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of cancer. The soulmate of cancer. What is going on with the soulmate of cancer? And how is the soulmate of cancer currently relating to cancer, especially emotionally? And what's on the mind? What is the soulmate of cancer thinking, feeling, especially in relation to Cancerians? Wow. So this person hasn't released you. Yeah, they have not released you. Yeah, they're still holding on. Uh, new, some kind of new beginning they're hoping for, some kind of new chapter. Yeah, you see? they holding on to you. They're not releasing you, but at the same time, they feel very sad, regretful, feeling like this could be the end, even though they don't want it to be the end. They feel somehow their perception of you is that you don't love them, you don't care about them. That's their perception. So you really are hiding your feelings very well from them because they really believe that you don't care, that you're very indifferent emotionally towards them, that this could be the end. Yeah, this person really wants to see you, to judge you uh, by your facial expressions, by your body language, to see if you truly gave up or not. They're not going to ask you directly. They want to see you. So this person wants to see you. Universe, please show us what is the soulmate of Cancerian going through what's going on with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer currently relating to cancer yeah you see this person is in love with you quietly they're not telling you king of cups unspoken love secret love not expressing to you yeah they holding on to you they holding on to you uh, <clears throat> not letting you go but at the same time, they feel very sad, disappointed, thinking that this could be the end. Yeah, they're guarding their feelings, uh, protecting themselves, not showing their feelings, their emotions. This is very stressful for both of you. They're not sure what they're going to do yet. They know they're going to have to do something. They can't just sit there. This is them concentrating on their job, trying to uh, occupy the mind with job, business, work. Yeah, they want to move on with their life, uh, be feeling more peaceful, more at peace. Look at this. This is them walking away. So their mind, their logic, their common sense is telling them to walk away let it go but their heart is still loving you yeah very guarded emotionally this person is very guarded just like you are you've got the same two of swords um, this person really would like to see you but they're not telling you um, so even if some of them reach out and tell you they want to see you they're going to make it sound like it's not that important but this person feels they need to see you to make their final decision. But they haven't decided yet if they're really going to walk away or they're going to give it another shot. Um, but they're going to decide eventually. Yeah, it's not going to go on forever. Let's see more for you. More for you, Cancerians. More for Cancer's highest good, please. What's coming towards Cancer in this soulmate relationship oh i see random very strong messages and three right here yeah this is you mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is you. Very guarded emotionally, not showing your feelings, not discussing your feelings. <clears throat> you feel victorious though in different parts of your life. See, you feel very alone, uh, neglected, rejected by this person. Yeah, this is you, very strong though. Holding your head up high, not showing how wounded you feel. Yeah. <coughs> this is you being very strong. Yeah, some kind of major change coming to you for the better. Yeah. This is you celebrating some kind of accomplishment. Good for you. Some of you are dealing with uh, Scorpio, Leo, Virgo showing up here very strongly. Sagittarius and Aries. Aries again over here. Let's see more over here. I see. Yeah. So this is you having deep regrets about some of the things that happened. And this is you unable to fully move on with your life. You still feel like there's something unresolved with this individual. Yeah. You feel unresolved. Yeah, very stressed. This is unresolved for both of you. You're very strong, though. You keep showing up as very strong, uh, wise, intuitive, uh, quiet, not communicating your intentions, your feelings. Um, let's see more for you. Yeah, this is you walking away. And yet you feel like you want to fight for this, but yet you're not... Uh, communicating, you're restraining yourself, not communicating. Um, hmm. You haven't fully decided if this is truly the end or not. Interesting. You're still in love with this person quietly. Yeah. You see, past life connection. That's why it's so hard for the two of you to walk away from each other. Uh, past life connection, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. Yeah, very stressful for you. Yeah, this is you being quiet, not communicating your feelings, your intentions. So something is going to have to give in on either your side or their side. Uh, Cancerians, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit, on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they will show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cancer, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there.